Hello everyone and welcome back to the complete weekly yin series. This is a one hour yin yoga session for the lower body where we will stretch deeply into the fascia of the hips and the legs. And welcome back to Devi Daily Yoga where it's not about how your yoga looks, it's all about how it feels. This will be a super relaxing session that combines guided breath work with long held passive stretches to help you find new levels of flexibility along with deep restfulness throughout your nervous system. Our practice will begin with a few minutes of a warm up and then we will move into our yin sequence where we hold postures for three minutes each followed by a one minute rebound. We then finish with a five minute seated meditation to completely rewire the brain and the body. So go ahead and roll out your mat for our yin yoga session for the hips, the legs, and the lower body, which begins right now. Come into a comfortable cross-legged seated position to begin and let your eyes close. Settle into your seat so that your sitting bones feel grounded. And allow your spine to rise up. Allow the crown of your head to rise up and soften your shoulders down your back. Nestle into the support of the floor and take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale again with ujjayi breath, constricting the throat to create that ocean sound inside. Exhale. Another full ujjayi breath in and out. And again. Exhale. Now letting go of the ujjayi breath and just breathe naturally. Feel what's happening inside your body. Feel the energy in your body at this moment. Gently allow the eyes to open as we get ready to begin our warm ups before our yin yoga sequence begins. Let the arms come down to your sides and circle them around and up over the head. Palms turn down, guide the energy to the heart level and press out to either side. Bow forward, hands hover above the earth as they come out in front of you and then round your spine to bring the hands and arms all the way over the head. And finally, guide the energy down to the heart level and all the way down to the belly. We'll begin again, circle the arms out and up over the head. As you exhale, pull the energy down through the crown of the head to the heart, press out to either side. Bow forward, rounding, hands come out in front of you round the spine to lift up arms overhead palms guide the energy down the spinal column down the torso to the belly again circle out and all the way up and draw the hands down to heart level open out to either side bow forward hands come out in front round upward arms overhead Guide the energy through the whole torso, head, heart, belly. Settle here, bring hands to knees and we'll circle the torso. Start by bringing the ribs to the right and rounding the ribs back to the left and forward. Continue to the right, back, left, forward, right, back, left, forward, one more time, back, left, forward and change directions, ribs left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, and forward, left, back, right, forward last time back right forward settle here now 
place the right hand on the floor next to you. Come into a side bend, left arm up and over. Feel the stretch in the left side of the torso. Breathe into the ribs, the waist. Exhale, take the hand to the outside of the left knee and place the right hand behind you on the floor for a twist. Lift up through the spine and rise up through the crown of your head. Use the arms to gently leverage yourself a little deeper into this. And release, come back around to the center and place your left leg out at an angle to come into a side bend, left hand on the leg, right arm comes up and over, stretching into the other side of the torso now. Deep breath in. And with your exhale, come back and place the right hand behind you to lift up into a gentle wild thing. Left arm comes up and back, lift up through your hips and release back down and now a forward bend, chest facing the leg. Hands can be on the shin, the ankle or the foot. Stretch into the back of your left leg. Slowly come back up, cross the legs again and we'll move into this sequence on the other side. Place your left hand on the floor next to you and reach the right arm up and over, stretching into the right side of the ribs and waist. Feel the stretch. And let the right hand come to the outside of the knee as you lift up for your twist. Place the left hand behind you on the floor. Rise upward through the crown of your head. Breathe in. And exhale and come back around to face the front. Extend your right leg out at an angle now. Side bend, right hand down the leg, left shoulder back and left arm comes up and over. Feeling into the left ribs, the left waist, left armpit. Come back up and place the left hand behind you on the floor for a gentle wild thing. Reach the right arm up and back, lift the hips, feel the back bend. Release the hips back down, forward bend over the right leg, hands to shins, ankles, or foot. Stretch into the hamstrings of the right leg. Slowly release, torso comes back up. Make your way to hands and knees now and rest back in child's pose, hips settling back to the heels, palms connected to the earth, shins and tops of the feet connected to the earth, forehead connected to the earth. Slowly come up to hands and knees and right into puppy pose. Take the hands out in front of you, settle your heart down toward the earth. Allow the spine to melt toward the heart. Come in to thread the needle. When you're ready, left arm slides underneath the right. Left side of the head to the floor. Twist the upper body. Bring the outside of the left shoulder to the ground. Breathe in and breathe out. Return to hands and knees and puppy pose. Settle the heart down. Thread the needle second side, right arm under the left. Outside of the right shoulder to the floor, left hand above the head. Inhale. And exhale, unwinding, return to hands and knees. Settle back into child's pose. Deep breath in to expand the back body. Exhale. 
Come up now and into a seated position for half butterfly. We'll begin our yin yoga sequence now. Left leg forward, right foot to the inner upper thigh. Come forward over the leg and let the hands rest on the shin, the ankle, the foot, or the floor. Feel free to prop yourself with a bolster or blocks under your forehead or under your chest if that's more comfortable for you. Arrange your body so that you feel like you can really rest here and let gravity do the work. As you gradually let your body soften into this shape and feel the stretch in the hamstrings at the back of the thigh, along with the whole back body. Inhale and exhale, soften down through the shoulders, through the forehead, through the spine. And allow your body to rest here, softening into this shape a little more with each exhale. Slowly release now. As you come up, change the legs, right leg forward, left leg bent. Adjust the hips as you need to so it's comfortable to root down through your sitting bones and come forward over the right leg. Hands on the shin, ankle, or foot, or the floor. Targeting now the back of the right leg, back of the right thigh, and the whole back body. Inhale and exhale, soften down through the forehead, the ribs, the shoulders. Soften the spine. Rest and relax in this half butterfly pose.
slowly release now. As you come up, make your way all the way down onto your back for a comfortable position to experience and feel the effects of the pose. Feel the rebound. Notice sensations in the back of the body or anywhere in the body that might be tingling, pressure, expansiveness, warmth. Slowly now, draw the knees in toward the chest and hug the arms around the legs. Gently rock side to side. And roll over onto one side to come up to hands and knees. We'll make our way into dragon, stepping the right leg forward. As you set yourself up in dragon, you can choose whether the hands come to either side of the foot or they both come to the inside of the foot. You might choose to let the right knee open out to the side, coming onto the outside edge of the right foot, or keep the knee more upright. See what feels best as you find the stretch in the front of your left hip and the front of your left thigh. Let yourself rest and settle here. For the second half of this posture hold, option to take it into dragon twist or dragon's tail. Place the right hand on the knee and take dragon twist by rolling the shoulder back looking upward or reach the right hand back and hold the foot. Stretching a little deeper into the quadriceps with this variation. And in either pose, you can find a bit more of a back bend by drawing the right shoulder back, by drawing the head back in space, by opening the heart. For dragon's tail, your left hand could come way out to the left side. Plenty of space between the hand and the foot. Settle and rest here. Release dragon's tail, both hands to the floor as you step back to downward dog. 
Walk out the legs and feel the difference between the right hip and the left hip, between the right thigh and the left thigh after the first side of dragon and dragon's twist or tail. We're going to take it into the second side now. Knees down, left leg forward. Hands either on both sides of the foot or on the inside of the foot. Option to let the left knee come out to the side a little more and come onto the outside edge of the left foot for the variation that we sometimes call dragon wing. We'll let the hips settle down, stretching into the front of the right thigh and the front of the right hip this time. Getting ready to switch now to your choice of dragon twist or dragon holds its tail. Left hand on the knee or left hand reaches back and holds the right foot. Finding that sense of a back bend, whichever variation you're in. Left shoulder back. Back of the skull travels back in space. The hips travel forward and down. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly release the pose, come back to downward dog. Walk the legs and once again feel the left hip compared to the right hip. When you're ready, drop down to child's pose to rest for one minute. Feeling the rebound here in this child's pose shape. Allow the energy to flow through the hips and notice where you feel energy moving, expanding, anywhere else in your body. Slowly come up from child's pose into a seated position for dragonfly. Sit with your legs wide. 
feel free to sit on a cushion or two if that makes it more comfortable and as you come forward you might also want props under your forearms like a block or two or something under your forehead here we are targeting the inner thighs the groin the abductor muscle group allow your legs to relax in yin we need to have relaxed muscles in order for the fascia to get the stretch and the stimulation so even if your feet are tilting forward or backward that's okay just let your legs relax and let your whole body soften into gravity settling here in your dragonfly pose for some people this is just not a comfortable pose so as an alternative you can take dragonfly at the wall or butterfly with the soles of the feet together wherever you are now take the breath into the lungs and into the back body and let it go surrender and settle into the stillness Slowly release dragonfly, coming up and lying all the way down on your back, draw the legs together. Find any comfortable position on your back so that you can feel the effect of the pose and feel the energy flow through the channels that have been opened. Feel the breath. Slowly draw the knees in toward the chest. Gently rock side to side. And roll over to the side to come up to a seated position and set up for half saddle pose. With your left leg extended forward, take the right foot to the outside of the hip. I'll give you a few options of how to move into this. You can lean back on the hands and stay here. You could bend the left knee and let the knee open out to the left side. Or you could come all the way onto your back. 
And you can also rest back over a bolster or a couple of blocks. And from there you have the choice of whether to bend the left knee and perhaps let it open out to the side or even hug it in toward your chest to intensify this. And if your right knee is just not happy with any of these variations, come on to the belly for the belly variation. Bend the right knee and hold the right foot in the right hand or use a strap around the foot. We're looking for a stretch of the front of the right thigh and the front of the right hip. Wherever you are, breathe into your body and breathe out. Allow yourself to soften and settle into the stillness and rest. Slowly release by pushing up to come back to a seated position. Carefully switch sides. Left foot to the outer hip, right leg extends forward. Lean back on your hands or come all the way back over a prop or onto the floor. Or come onto the belly for the belly variation. Choose your variation based on the stretch that you feel in the front of the left thigh and the front of the left hip. Maybe you're bending this right knee, maybe you're opening it out to the side. And even if the left knee pops up off the floor like mine is, that's okay as long as it's not hurting your left foot. And as long as you're getting this stretch in the front of the left hip and the front of the left thigh. Arms could be down alongside of the body, or you could choose to let them come up over the head. Whichever version, whichever variation you're in, find a deep breath in now. Exhale to settle into the position, into this shape, and allow yourself to surrender.
And now we'll slowly release this half saddle and come to a rest position for a rebound. You could just untuck the foot or you could push yourself up to seated and then settle back down, whatever seems safer for your leg, for your knee. And nestle yourself into the floor now to rest and feel what's happening inside of your body. Feel the energy as it flows, as it expands, as it stimulates the healing response of the tissues and within the energy body. Slowly bend the knees, hug them into your chest, and gently rock side to side. We'll come next into an outer hip stretch using figure four pose and supine shoelace pose. So place your left foot on the floor and take your right ankle over your left knee for figure four. Here your options are to clasp behind the left thigh or to reach farther forward to clasp in front of the shin. You could choose to have a cushion under your head for this pose. We're looking for the stretch to be felt in the right glutes, the right buttock. You could choose to flex your right foot or to relax it based on what feels best in your body. Breathe into the outer right hip. Breathe into what you feel. You can stay here, or the next option is to move into a variation, supine shoelace, where both knees come closer together or maybe even on top of one another. And you take the left foot in your right hand, right foot in your left hand. You might hold the outsides of the feet or the toes, whatever kind of clasp works on the feet. You might hold the ankles. And you might have your feet closer down to your buttocks or higher up. It really depends on what gives you the best stretch. Make any adjustments as you settle in and find stillness.
and slowly release your supine shoelace pose now and take some easy windshield wipers, feet wide, knees right and left. Spread the arms out, feel the hips. Knees back to center now. Left ankle comes on top of the right knee for figure four on the second side, clasp behind the thigh or in front of the shin. Option once again to place a cushion or a block under your head, which sometimes just makes it a little easier to reach forward comfortably without tweaking the head. You might flex the left foot or let it relax. And feel the stretch now in the left glutes, the left buttock. Option now to shift into supine shoelace, drawing the knees closer to one another, taking left hand to right foot, right hand to left foot. And adjusting the hold on the feet, adjusting the angles of the feet so that you get the stretch in the left glutes that feels good at this moment. Take a breath in, exhale. Slowly release the pose. Come into a resting position on your back for our final Shavasana. Make yourself totally comfortable with a blanket over top if you need it or extra clothes, a cushion or a bolster under your knees or under your head. Spread your limbs out as much as you'd like to, inviting yourself to take up lots of space with your legs, with your arms, with your body. And as you claim this space on the earth for yourself, feel that the earth rises up to hold you and support you. Feel how gravity gently hugs your body down against the support of the floor of the earth. Take a deep breath into the belly and the chest now. 
exhale and soften through the back body into the ground. This time of rest after the asana practice may be the most important time of our practice where we open up to receive the benefits, fully allowing the body's parasympathetic nervous system to kick in the rest and relaxation response. This is when the body is able to heal, to repair, and to recover. Knowing that as you feel the sensations and the stimulations of energy tingling, vibrating, swelling, moving through this body, this is your body taking charge, taking care of itself, recovering, refueling, and recharging. As we put aside the doing and the thinking self and surrender to this process, the breath naturally becomes effortless, easy. And we can imagine now that the body is being bathed in the breath. Every breath washing over you clearing and cleansing, restoring and energizing. Resting, breathing, softening, surrendering. Take a breath to fill the body now. Exhale, fully empty the lungs. Start to feel into the physical body now, the hands, the arms, the legs and the feet and stretch out into the arms and legs. As you are ready, bend your knees and roll over to one side to come up into a seated position for meditation. Use a cushion under your seat if you'd like. Find a tall spine and let the hands rest on the knees or in the lap. Sense into the energy of the body now in this upright position. Feel the support of the floor below you, below your sitting bones and below your feet. And feel how the spine rises up from the solid base of your pelvis and your legs. After opening into the hips during this practice, 
There might be a particular ease in your sitting today. Notice how the energy flows here through the base of the spine, the lower back, middle back, upper back, belly and chest. And notice the space that's been created within your body and within your mind as a result of taking this time for yourself. Tending to your inner being, tending to your heart, tending to the body as a vessel a vessel for the life force that is ready to flow freely through it in actions and in deeds, in service. And you might choose to use a mantra now, repeating your choice of words or these words that I'll offer. I am healing from the inside out. I am healing from the inside out. I am healing from the inside out. Notice what parts of you are speaking now. Is it the body, the mind, or the emotional body? Whatever is here, welcome it into this space of healing. Take a deeper breath now into your belly and into your heart. Exhale and draw your palms together in front of your heart. Preparing to chant OM three times. Inhale the breath. Ah. Feel this resonance within the chamber of your body. And 
This is the end of our practice today. Thank you so much for choosing to spend your time on the mat with me. I hope that your hips and legs feel wonderful, and I hope you feel an increased level of calm and relaxation inside. If you enjoyed this practice, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up and the notification bell. If you'd like to do more yin yoga practices like this with me, you'll find over 200 guided class videos here on YouTube at the Devi Daily Yoga channel. That's where you can find the whole complete weekly yin playlist along with the 14 day yin reset playlist, my bedtime yin yoga class playlist, and different playlists for beginners and for experienced students. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you in the next one.